this video we are going to have a, a BCD to XS3 code converter and we will simulate the BCD to XS3 converter in a multi-sim and also we will have the practical demo of the code converter with the TTLICs. So if you don't watch our previous video, I really recommend to watch uh, binary codes uh, recorded video and also combinational circuit design video which give you idea how we able to design this circuit that currently you see here. So as you could see this is a circuit that you could use as a BCD to XS3 code converter. So as it clear from the name in the input of this unit or circuit should be the BCD codes and you are able to give the BCD codes with 4 bits and the output is uh, 4 bit which is the XS3. So here you give the BCD codes and in the other side of the circuit you see the uh, XS3. So this is the circuits, the BCD to, BCD to uh, XS3 code converter. So if you want to know how we could design this circuit, please watch our previous video, which is the combinational uh, circuit design part one and two, which is I explain over there how you could design any combinational circuit, which is this is one application of that, which you design one BCD to access three code converter. So as you could see in the circuit, we use just the NAND. We have a few two input NAND, which is uh, IC number is 7420. And also we have uh, three, uh, three input NAND, which is 7410. You have one here, one here, and the third one is here. So as you could see here, for the first NAND, you have just connected two input to each other, and it's actually give you a first input that you give. So similar things for the next one, two inputs is connected, go, and will be your second bit of the BCD here for the third one, and the fourth one, and here you see the all necessary wiring that you need. So let's to simulate the circuit and see what will be happen here. So here is the input that I start with giving the all zero. So as you could see here, zero 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 is zero B, zero BCD and the zero BCDs uh, equivalent XS three is zero zero one one, which is three. So it works at least for. Uh, um, zero. Let to change this um, to the yeah should be this one. So change this to the one. So the order that we have here, this is actually the highest value bit. This is the lowest value bit of the BCD. So that means what you see currently, I have the zero 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 and one zero 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 one, which is technically is one. Um, BCD code so definitely in the output you should you, you should have the one XS3 3 so one in XS3 is 4 right it is 0 1 0 0 you see the same and right XS3 codes in the output so let to check the next which is the 2 so this is 2 so I give uh, uh, 2 Binary definitely I should have the 5 which is 0 1 0 1 is the corresponding XS3 code So let to check the others we test 2 let to have 3 should be 6 that right So the 4 let to give 4 here BCD 4 4 should be 7 that's right So let to give 5 should be 8 this is 1 Zero, 0 which is 8 just be careful in the output this is the highest value and this is the lowest value so that means right now this is 8 which you give actually uh, technically you give a 5 here uh, check the next which is the 6 it would be 0 1 1 0 is 6 you should see 9 which is the excess 3 should be 1 0 0 1 which is 9 and uh, let to see we try the 6 
let do try the let do try seven so it should be zero one one seven you should have ten ten is excess three which is one zero one zero which is ten and uh, we did the seven so let do do the eight which is should be one three zero if you have eight uh, bcd which is one three zero so the x three is uh, one zero one one which is the eleven technically so which is right and we the final uh, codes that you have the bcd usually you have zero to nine you don't have ten as a bcd so the next should be nine which is the eight eight plus one which is one zero zero this is one this is zero this is zero and this is one so that means you have nine which is the nine bcd code is one zero zero one you give actually nine so what you expect to see is uh, 12 so which is one one zero zero this is eight plus four is twelve or in the other word you could say if you give the nine for, as a bcd codes here which is one zero zero one the corresponding excess three for nine is one one zero zero which is works well so as you could see we simulate the circuit and simulation works so let to just have the practical demo and implement the same circuit with the ttlic 7400 yeah you need uh, three ttlic 7400 because inside each of them you have at least four so that means if you use three ttlic totally you have 12 um, uh, and which should be enough to implement this circuit and for 7410 you just need one because inside the one 7410 you have three uh, three inputs and NAND gates so that means uh, three 7420 and one 7410 should be enough to implement this circuit so let's do take a look to the um, uh, practical demo and see if it works or not so this is the circuit which we implement with uh, uh, ttlic so as i already mentioned here you have 37420 and 17410 so totally 4ic should be enough so this is actually is our test bench so if you didn't watch our test bench video i definitely recommend to watch that which is we made this which is we able to produce zero one and see the zero one in these LEDs so here we implement the same circuit that you uh, saw in um, first section of this video so these four is our BCD codes input which is we give here with these four switch this is the lowest value and this is the highest value so here you see these four LEDs is our output which is shows the XS3 codes so this one is the lowest value and this one is the highest value bit so right now as you could see this switch is in that side is zero in if you change to the other side give you a one so as you could see here right now i give four zero so the four zero bcd is um, uh, 40 BCD is a uh, three excess three right so as you could see I, I give four zero and what I got is zero zero one one which is right I give the zero it's actually changed to the zeros excess three code which is zero zero one one that's right so let to keep going and test all ten numbers that we have zero to nine so let to just give the BCD of one okay so BCD of one, so that means input is zero 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 one, and the excess three for one is uh, zero one two zero, which is four, which is right. So you already know the BCD excess three is technically you just add the three to the origin codes and write that in the binary. For example. Whenever you say one, it's excess three is one plus three. You have four. That means if you have four binary, it will be the excess three code. So here I give one. So I actually have four, which is the excess three zero one zero zero. 
So go to the next. Next is 2. I should put the 0 and have these 2. So that means the BCD code for the 2 is 0, 0, 1, 0. So 0, 0, 1, 0. And the binary, or sorry, the accessory codes of that should be should be 5, right? So here you see 0, 1, 0, 1 is the accessory for that, which is right. So go to the next, which is 3. Right now I have 0, 0, 1, 1 which is the tree, so the accessory code of the tree is 0, 1, 1, 0, which is right. So let's do test, go to the 4. I actually test all of them, 0 to 9. So this is 4, so 0, 1, 0, 0 is the BCD input. The output is accessory code, which is 0, 1, 1, 1, which is 7. So that's right. So we actually test 4, Let next is 5. So right now I have, have 0, 1, 0, 1, which is 5. Its accessory is 1, 0, 0, 0, which is 8. That's right. So next is um, 6. So I just uh, turn this back and have this one, which is 0, 1, 1, uh, 0, which is actually 6. So the accessory of the 6 is 1, 0, 0, 1, which is 9. That's right. So the next is 7. Now, right now I have 0, 1, 1, 1, which is the 7, and the 7 access 3 is 1, 0, 1, 0, which is 10, that's right. So, and the next should be 8. So, 1, 0, 0, 0 is 8, and its access 3 of 8 is 1, 0, 1, 1, which is the 11, that's right. And the, finally, the last PCD code is for 9, which is 1001. And the accessory code for 9 is 1100, which is technically 12 binary. So as you could see, we test the all um, BCD codes 0 to 9, and we give them as input, and it, the circuit able to uh, convert the BCD codes and give the accessory of the each value that we gave in input. So this is uh, how you could design and implement BCD to accessory code converter. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you like the video.